Win Anti Debug 0x200. If you've solved Win Anti Debug 0x100, you'll discover something new in this one debug the executable and find the flag. Challenge executable to Windows console application like last time. Uh, this time they say that it requires admin privileges. It's probably a bad idea to run a random program that you downloaded from the internet as an admin, especially from a CTF. But, um, you know, maybe you trust the Pico CTF people and that's okay. We're going to work around running it as admin. So I've downloaded this thing and I've loaded it into Ghidra. Here is the function that's interesting uh, from last time. It's changed slightly. So here we see that the program requires debug privileges and you might want to run it as an admin. So that check occurs right here at this 4016ED. I'm just going to skip over that check. Then when we get down here, we're going to have another check that says you need to launch it in a debugger. A check here and a check here, all of which will prevent us from getting to the good job. Here's your flag. So there it's at 1830. This one's at 1826. Uh, as with the last one of these, the uh, addresses won't line up exactly like they do in X32 debug, but they're going to line up somewhat similarly in the last four. So I'm going to go ahead and run till I get to the user code. And you'll see that I've set some breakpoints that line up with the last four of what I saw in Ghidra. So here we have that 1826. Um, we have the 1830, uh, or actually just the instruction before that, so I get it the test. Um, I've also set a breakpoint here at 7BD, right, for this if statement, and at 16E6. And so that's here. So that's we're going to try to make sure that we go through the right path for each of those. So we'll go ahead and run. Here we are at 16E6. I'm going to step over that. Now, if I, so I want to, I want this jump. So I want not equal to zero. I am zero right now. So I'm going to modify this value to make it one. And then you'll see that when I step over, the right thing happens. I jump over that. Oops, need to trace into. I wanted to just continue. I get to this one. This one, I again want the jump to happen. ECX is one, which is not zero, so that should just do the right thing. We'll come down here. We're testing EDX. I do not want to take this jump because that'll say, oops, debugger was detected. So I do not want to take this jump that I need EDX to be zero. So that looks okay. Now for this one, I want to do this jump because I want to get past that. So I need this to be equal to zero. So I'll change this one to zero. And at this point, I should be good to go. So I've gotten past that. So I'll just run this thing to completion. We can look in our log and we will see. Good job. Here's your flag. So there's my flag. And I can throw that over into my browser and get some more points.